Today we're making a classic recipe for cocaine. Let's begin by chopping up some rainforest so we can grow our coca. I find using a chainsaw is the easiest way to get rid of the trees. Some of them are actually a thousand years old, but it will take me just a few minutes to hack them down and destroy the local habitat. For every kilogram of cocaine, I've found you need to destroy about an acre of rainforest. Next, we convert our coca to cocaine by marinating in paraffin and caustic lime. It's good kitchen practice to keep things clean and tidy, but we'll make an exception here by using a makeshift lab. When these chemicals dissolve into the water supply, they will poison villagers and animals for miles around. Now add a huge dollop of violence to protect our interests. Many more villagers and farmers will be caught up in the conflict, so let's add them to our mix. I like to give them a really good beating. We are ready to turn it into cocaine hydrochloride. I like to use organised crime gangs. Not only do they know the right mix of chemicals, but they can also work in an enormous helping of violence, death and fear into entire communities. For a bit of spice, add the police, who are injured and murdered by the gangs. The Colombian recipe needs around 90 dead officers a year. Next we need to transfer our mixture overseas, where we'll blend it with local organised crime gangs and bring it to the boil. We can add another generous helping of violence, as well as money laundering, fear and anti-social behaviour. To make your mixture go as far as possible, add in plenty of dental anaesthetics. They don't affect the taste, so the buyers won't know. Of course, we don't care how it actually tastes. All we want is profit. And for that we need one last vital ingredient. The casual drug user. None of this has any points without them. Your choices can change everything.